what's going on YouTube hey back with another video and today I uh, want to review some headphones and um, I was thinking about it the other day um, when it comes to running and cycling which are the major two cardio um, sports that I do uh, I wanted to kind of review some headphones that I think are the best for those two sports those two activities and so let me just explain this <clears throat> I've been through a lot of headphones, y'all. I've, I've been through um, pretty much everything you can think of, from Bose to Beats to Apple AirPods to, um, I don't know, just numerous types of headphones, earbuds, over the ears. Um, and over time, um, I haven't found the best pair that I think are um, really good for running and cycling and the reason why I say that is because a lot of the earbuds that I've had in the past even when monster first came out with their earbuds um, a lot of them cause a lot of pressure in my ear particularly for me and so um, they don't have a real comfortable fit at all times and so um, I started going with the over-the-ear headphones for a while but then you know you wear those for a good 45 minutes to an hour they start to bother me a little bit and so I just haven't found the, the perfect headphones and it's it's very difficult to find depending on your ear size depending on you know if your ear can easily get pressure in it um, when you push an earbud inside the ear or the sound or whatever the case may be it's hard for me to find the perfect set of headphones or earbuds so <clears throat> just a few that I just kind of want to show that I've already tried I don't have all of them here some of them have broke over time and I just threw them away or some of them I've sold or some of them um, I've just given away um, so like for example I've had these have been really good for a while the Bose um, sport uh, earbuds um, they do have this wire to connect that goes around the back of the neck but these have been kind of good but these are a little bit heavy um, I've even had the regular uh, Bose sport wired headphones um, these have been pretty comfortable but of course they're not wireless you have to plug these in um, but I do like the lightweight feel of them and they don't cause any pressure. I've even had these um, I don't know if you've seen these before. They're called um, They're made by a company called Senso. They sell them on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. They're over the ear and I will say these sound and Feel just as good as the power beats too. not the new power beats pros But the bar the power beats over the ear ones before the power beat pros um, These are a very good competitor when it comes to sound um, I was using these for cycling for a long time, but the reason why I don't like these is this part right here, the wired part that goes around your neck, when I start to sweat, it just sticks to my neck and it gets aggravating because it won't move and then sometimes it'll stick to the point where if I turn my neck or head, it'll one of these will fall out of my ear because this is literally like glued to my neck once I start sweating. So, but anyway that's not the point of why I'm here today today I am here to review a product that I received in the mail yesterday and um, I'm really really kind of excited about these and these are the Aftershocks Aeropex headphones um, I bought these on the Aftershocks website I think these are regularly I think they regularly go for like 160 or 170 dollars I'm not sure but I was able to Google, whenever I buy something online, I Google discount codes or coupon codes. And I was able to find a code that got me like 30% off of these. So I think I paid like $115 brand new uh, straight from Aftershocks, the website. Um, there's plenty of reviews already online about this. But what I want to talk about in particular is two sports, and that's the running and the cycling piece. Of course, if you don't know anything about these particular headphones, they come in three colors. I think black, gray, and red. Um, and that's really unusual to find an actual red headphones, which I thought were, were pretty cool because red's my favorite color. Um, but these are what they call bone conduction headphones. And what that means is, is they don't go in ear or around the ear. They basically, as you can tell, go around the head and they fit like they go here on the actual ear bone that's on the outer ear. And basically what happens is, the music, the vibration, the sound um, actually goes through your bones and vibrates and you hear the sound based off of that vibration. Um, 
I, it, it sounds crazy. It sounds weird. This technology has been around for a long, long time. My dad actually brought something to my attention. Um, they actually had, I think, something called the bone phone back in the 80s, which was, I think, a particular cell phone in which you wore around your neck, and the sound of the phone would go through like your collarbones and stuff like that. So this technology has been around for a while. It's nothing new. And there's actually other headphones, I believe, that are similar to these. So I just went out for, and I'm probably still sweating, uh, I just went out for a 30 minute run. Um, my first time running since I've been sick. This is my first time trying to get back in shape and boy, am I out of shape. I haven't worked out in like two two weeks and so it's definitely uh, showing and it's taking its toll. But anyway, um, when it comes to these Aftershock headphones, so I kind of want to do a quick review on running and cycling with these headphones on. Um, the way that I came about these headphones was I was just Googling or YouTubing just reviews on different earbuds. And I came across these on one review, which was about running earbuds, the best running earbuds or headphones. And so um, when I saw them, I was like, uh, I don't really know. You know, they don't go in the ear. The sound can't be all that great. I just didn't didn't think it was, you know, sounded too good to be true. I went to my local bike shop um, last week and um, they actually had these on display to try on, to actually demo. And I was like, cool, because I wanted to try these headphones. And the thing is, is I wanted to go to Best Buy, but Best Buy has all of these headphones and displays, but you can't try them on. And so I was able to try these on, on the display at my local bike shop, and I was blown away. I was really amazed at how these sounded. Now, the best way that I can explain it is if you have, let's say, a good pair of headphones, let's say any of these that I just showed you, let's just say the Bose Sports, right? Let's say you put these in your ear and you turn the volume probably on medium, like it's the middle level that it, it can go. This is probably about the same type of sound that you're going to hear with these on because they're not in your ear, they're not on your ear they sit outside the ear so it's not going to get that loud but you can definitely hear it you can hear the bass you can hear the the uh, trouble you can hear the, the words you can hear the music fine the thing is it's not going to sound as loud because your ear is open now and you're going to hear all of the elements around you you're going to hear the traffic you're going to hear the horns honking you're going to hear the wind you're going to hear people you know talking whatever the case may be you can hear <coughs> excuse me everything in the open world you're going to be able to hear with these headphones on to me that's a good thing um, the reason why is because especially here where I live now there's a lot of high traffic area there's people who drive crazy all the time I need this type of open ear headphone when I'm running and if I'm cycling let's say like on the sidewalk and such now if I'm in the woods cycling on my own would it be the best maybe not but it's also good for if you're in the woods and you're on the trail cycling and you want to bypass somebody you're able to hear them they're able to hear you because um, a lot of times I've been on the trails with headphones and people have said something to me and I, I haven't even heard them and I'm sure they were probably like with well, them you know that guy's probably ignoring me but it wasn't that I just didn't hear them and so I think this will come in handy with that now these are not super loud they're not super bassy you're not don't compare these to beats or anything like that or even the Bose headphones the sound quality of that level this is not where this is at so I'm doing a very honest and, and upfront review on how these sound these sound okay um, if I would rate the sound out of a 0 to 10 I'm gonna give it probably mmm I would say anywhere between a six and a half and a seven um, would be my would be my um, choice when it comes to sound quality but it's just not going to sound that loud and clear because they're not in your ear so you can't expect it to sound all of that awesome because that's not what it's really built for it's built to hear music and to be able to hear the outside world around you and it does that perfectly um, these will be my go-to headphones for a while but they won't be my only ones um, so I'm actually looking at some other ones, the Jaybird Vistas, I'm looking at those Sonys, I'm looking at uh, the Powerbeats Pro, um, the AirPods Pros I've put in my ears and I just don't know about, some of these, these earbuds I'm kind of weary of because I know if I take a fall on a trail they're going to fall out of my ear. 
these aren't going to fall out because they wrap around and they're, they're pretty much tight, but they don't hurt. Um, but some of the other earbuds that are out there that are kind of heavy and just, you know, actually just sit inside the ear. Yeah, if you took a fall, I could definitely see some of those falling out. So I'm still kind of playing around with some other ones. But these will be, I'm, I'm really looking for two headphones, some earbuds and these. And these are going to be the ones I'm probably going to be doing any type of running in. Um, probably a lot of my trail rides and sidewalk or, you know, urban rides, I'm going to be wearing these as well. Because it's very important to be able to hear your surroundings. And some of these new earbuds with noise cancellation and all of that, you can't hear anything outside of you. And it's kind of dangerous doing that just because of, you know, traffic and people honking or, you know, people almost running you over on the road and such. So um, now when it comes to fit and comfort out of zero to 10, I'm going to give these probably a nine. They're very, very comfortable. They don't hurt at all. I just ran for 30 minutes with no problems. Um, the quality of these things are very good as well. I mean, it's a very, very durable, it seems like a plastic or whatever the case may be. Um, very, very simple controls. You have your volume button right here. Um, the cool thing about these though is that um, it does have an equalizer on it. You can change the settings, but they don't change it that much. So it's not going to give you that much better sound by changing the equalizer on them. And you do that by pushing the volume uh, minus and plus button at the same time to change the equalizer. Very easy to put on, very easy to take off. It comes with two chargers, which is interesting. I've never seen earbuds come with um, two actual chargers, a magnetic charger at that. It comes with these earpieces as well. If you want to um, not hear the outside world, the things that are going on, you can put these stoppers in your ears as well but that kind of defeats the point of what these are for um, the packaging is really really cool on, on, on how they uh, do the presentation it comes with a cool magnetic case um, to store these in uh, which I think is pretty cool um, and then that's about it so yeah I just kind of wanted to do a review on these um, if you've not tried them I don't know where you can actually get these demoed if you're in Orlando, though, Orange City Cycle has these on a demo case inside the store. But if you can find another store that can demo these, uh, I think you'll, you'll definitely like them if you check them out. But uh, for cyclists and running, I'm going to highly recommend these, to be honest with you. Um, it's going to be weird at first. When you start running or cycling with them, you're going to wish that the volume could go up more. You're going to wish that it can get louder and things of that nature. But if it did, it would defeat the whole point of being able to hear your surroundings. And so that's not what they're for. If you go purchasing these with that mindset that it's built to hear the outside world, I think you'll be good to go. But if you get these and you want something loud and the drown out sound and all of that, that's not what these are for. And so I am going to highly recommend these for cycling, trail, bike riding or running. Um, they are water resistant I think an IPX X7 um, is the rating for these but uh, I'm sorry IP67 uh, waterproof so you can't go swimming in them you, I wouldn't take a shower with them and all of that but sweat and you know a little bit of rain or water shouldn't shouldn't hurt these at all so yeah guys I just wanted to do this quick review on this product highly recommend um, you know try them out you can always return them if you don't like them um, and again, if you go to the Aftershocks website, Google, um, what did I Google? I think it was Aftershocks Aeropex discount code. And then just search that online. You'll see multiple ones. A lot of them have expired. A lot of them won't work. But there's like a 20 or a 30% off one that worked for me. You were able to get these at a, at a pretty good discount. So other than that, guys, that's about it for the video. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, hit me up below. I'll check you out on the next video. Peace.